All right, guys. <laughs> so we're doing this again. I did this whole drive earlier, and I didn't have time to do it, and it didn't record. I am I was just beside myself. But uh, anyway, yeah, guys, it's uh, May 21st, 2021 in Big Bear Lake, California. We're headed. We're in Moonridge right now. We're actually headed to go to the 2N10. It's what I consider the most beautiful off-road anywhere around here. At least me personally, it's the one that I like the best. It's so pretty, you guys. And we're gonna catch a couple different ones throughout the back. If you look at the top, you can see the new snow that, that, that just fell up on the top of the mountain right there. So pretty. And when I was on the 2N10 just now, there was snow up there on the top of the trees. And I caught it for you guys, but then like it didn't record. So I'm hoping it's still there. The, the temperature did rise a little bit. It was in the mid thirties earlier at noon when I did this drive, the mid thirties. I'm uploading a video right now, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. This is, we're gonna be going to the 2N10, and just so you guys know, uh, where we're going right now, once we get onto the 2N10, that whole area right there, that's where I always try to suggest you guys go sledding, because that gate's locked and closed during the winter time, so, so no one can go back there. But at the very top, right where the gate is, it's a great place to sled. And uh, it's it's got a lot of shade, so the snow lasts quite a bit, quite a long time. And I want to show you guys my new my new glasses. Check it out. I finally got some new glasses. They're they're still Ray Bans, but yeah, check them out. What do you guys think? These things are freaking awesome. Hang on a sec. Yeah, they're like different. I don't know. I don't know. That's uh, I'm not really showing you guys too well, but I hope you guys get get the point. <laughs> but yeah, so hang on a minute. So yeah, thank you guys for complimenting my new glasses. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, basically, I wanted to tell you guys also, like one of the benefits of doing this drive earlier today. Okay, so, well, there's Bear Mountain to the left. Okay, you guys stay to the right. When when you get to Bear Mountain, stay to the right up here. When you're on Club View, just stay to the right. Go all the way up. Um, uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh my gosh, give me a second to think about what I was saying. Oh. When I came up here earlier, um, one benefit that we got out of wasting our time on this drive, because it didn't record for you guys, was it was so peaceful and beautiful, and they actually redid the roads. They brought in some like dirt road type of a, 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 a machine and just really, really fixed the road. It hasn't been this clean and nice in quite a few years. Um, I think you could easily, with your regular cars, guys, like I've driven through here when I, I rented a Camaro, a few years back it was the only rented car they had up here at Hertz that was remaining so they upgraded me and and I really I used to get really 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 depressed and driving up here on these off roads was my sanity when I first moved up here so here we go this is the sledding area guys this is the very top and there's parking spaces right there and stuff but usually this gate is locked in in the winter time because it's the snow's too deep back here and uh, there's no, there's hardly any phone service. But yeah, here we go, guys. We are entering the 2N10. Two, the number two, the letter N, and then the numbers one zero. 2N10. And yeah, it's beautiful. And I didn't want to go on this earlier because I have brand new street tires on my car because my winter tires are at my friend's shop waiting till next season. But I had to buy brand new tires because my other regular tires were worn. So I got like the best tires on my car and then the day after I get tires, I'm driving this road. But you guys will be very, very happy with this road. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I played with my sirens on the on the last drive on this road. It was like a 30, 40 minute drive, but it's, guys, this is beautiful back here. You guys will see. We're not gonna go as slow as I did before because the roads are in such great shape. I'm just blown away, guys. Don't forget when I almost got stuck and, and like I was in a panic a couple seasons back this time of year because the, the, uh, the gates were open and then we got like a six inch snowstorm this time of year. It was even a little later than this, believe it or not. Um, it was like May 31st and I was terrified. I didn't, well, everything I tell you guys to do in terms of like safety, <laughs> like, have food and water in your car for a week, uh, plenty of warm clothes, blankets, let a few people know where you're going, when to expect you, um, just everything to make sure you are safe. And I didn't have any of that. I had my phone with me, 
but I knew I don't get good phone service back here, or I don't get any phone service that points back here, so it, it was pretty scary. But yeah, guys, this is just such a beautiful, beautiful drive. Usually, you can't be back here with a regular car because some of the dips will be way too, way too gnarly, but this year, what they've just done to repair this road, I think any of you could get up here, even in a Honda, just like a Honda Accord. You'd, you'd be totally fine, just don't speed through here. But you can come back here and just check out these incredible views, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. You know what, maybe I am gonna lag a little bit. I'm not gonna go fast. Okay, so right up here, know if it's over here or not, but whatever. That's unfortunate because there was all that snow on the top of the trees earlier up here. <coughs> and then I caught a couple snowflakes too. <coughs> but it didn't record. <coughs> so there's another off-road up there. That's, no, that's a two empty. Wait, so this is this is still still 2N10. That was 2N11 or something. So yeah, so we're just gonna charge through here, and then we are gonna be coming up right behind Snow Summit, right behind the very top. Like when you guys take the lift to the very top up at Snow Summit, uh, this is where this road is basically just on the other side of of the of the summit. Like literally, we park and just walk up about 75, 80 feet. <laughs> and you're at the very top of Snow Summit at that restaurant. And as a matter of fact, when we get close, I'll, I'll try to point it out to you. But to the left, we're driving behind Bear Mountain. And yeah. Just enjoying this. Didn't think I was going to do this twice, but I'm obsessive compulsive. And it was so beautiful earlier, I really desperately wanted you guys to hey, Often. They have quite a few different off-roads, so we'll we'll do a bunch of different ones. That'll be fun. I just hate doing it with my new tires, but oh well. If they were off-roading snow tires type stuff, I'd, I'd have no problem. If I would have kept my old tires on another two days, but oh well. Guys, look at this whole area. It's just so beautiful. And keep in mind, we're at like 8,000 feet up here. We're way up here. Some more roads that, that go off to the left here. There's 2N06. And that goes to, wow, there's signs that say, that goes to Starvation Flats and just a whole bunch of other places. That's the one that screwed me big time. It took me down to uh, Highway 38, um, down one of the steepest mountain roads I've ever been on and you can't make any mistakes or you're in big trouble. Okay. That mountain behind those trees is sand. I don't know if, if you can see it at all, but you'll get better views soon. And then over here is uh, in between Bear Mountain and Snow Summit. We're, we're coming up to Snow Summit. It's really cool, man. Like, if the road was open in the wintertime, you could have your friends drive you up here and just drop you off and you hike the 80 feet up this hill right here and you're at the top of the mountain to go ski down. <laughs> and this part of the drive gets pretty sketchy on the left-hand side because it's really, really a lot steeper than it looks. And it gets even worse. Okay, 2N10. So this is a little road that'll take you, it's a service road for like Snow Summit and whatnot. But I would usually park, I think it was right here on the right, right here. And then just hike right up there. And like literally you can, you can, you can see the very top. You can see the restaurant the building at the top. I, it, it's just really thick. The trees are really thick right now. Right? But how cool is that, man? We're at the top of Snow Summit right here. Just on the other side. When you get up to the top and, and look down, this is what you're looking down at. We're right here. It's just right up there. And then as I said, the really steep part of this drive. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there's the top of Snow Summit right there. 
you can see a building right there. I, I know you guys can't see it. I can barely make it out, but it's definitely right there. That's so cool. That might not be like the exact building at the top that I am I'm looking at, but there's a, a couple little like watershed buildings and stuff like that up there, which are all at the top. So right here, right here's, a, oh, this is where I would park right here. That's right, I'd park and then I would hike up there. That's right, and it's not too high guys. As I said, it's just right there. Man, this is so incredible. And the roads are beautiful right now, guys. You guys wouldn't have a bad time at all. But yeah, this is the steep, scary part. We're just gonna... It's a lot steeper than it looks, guys, I promise. And that San Gorgonio with snow. Oh man, so gorgeous in here. I'm so lucky to live here. I feel like I'm repeating myself from or the earlier conversation I had with you guys that you guys aren't able to hear because it didn't record. But no matter what, I could drive this road 20 times in one day and I would be enthralled the whole time, every time. And especially every season, it changes because you get a bunch more growth and this and that and things start to look a little bit different on the road so you sometimes forget exactly where you're at, but there are plenty of signs to tell you. Look at that, I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen. One of the most beautiful views you'll get. I wish this was my a view from my house. Wouldn't that be spectacular? And then we're gonna get to see some shots from here at 8,000 feet, all the way down the mountain, down to Redlands and San Bernardino, coming right up here. Right up here. I'll point the camera in the direction. I don't know if you'll be able to see all the way down there, but you'll be seeing down about 7,000 feet, even though we're at 8,000 feet. Right through there. You guys see? If I zoom in all the way down to the bottom, we're looking down there from 8,000 feet up. But the reason why I only say we're, we're seeing down 7,000 feet is because Redlands and whatnot, those are already about 1,000 feet above sea level. Which, yeah, so if, if we were at the coast, the view would look so much scarier, <laughs> I'm telling you. It would look so much scarier. Look at how beautiful this is though. I mean, really guys, come on. Do I really live here? Oh, it's just magnificent. Okay, so many different little roads to go park and do just do what you want to do go hiking, go camping. Um, the thing is, is I'm not 100% sure on the rules. Um, I know you have to get like the adventure pass, but regarding spending the night out here, I'm not too sure. And I've hiked this little trail right here. I'm not too sure. But look at that. Um, I think you might need to ask them or let them know w what time you, you want to stay up here. And, and then when, because there's campsites everywhere up here, guys. They're everywhere. Um, but this is a very... I don't know, tough area to access. So they're very careful about it. But check it out, we're just gonna do what I did last time. We're just gonna do a whole U-turn right here and just do a circle so you can kind of see 360 degrees of what we got going on here. Nothing special, but I'll never forget this little, little roundabout thing here. Not a roundabout, but. All right. Um, yeah, so I think you need to, I could be totally wrong, but just let them know when you want to stay out here uh, because I don't want you guys to get ticketed or towed or anything like that. Um, so yeah, uh, come up here, guys. Look at there's like, there's just trails everywhere. This place is like, I'm telling you, you guys know I like the, all the five-star hotels and stuff like that, right? Well, you know what? I'm. This is like a five-star freaking resort just being out in this type of nature because since the road is perfectly groomed now, 
it's as if we're driving onto like someone's like multi-million dollar property because of all the beautiful nature that looks like like it was man man made man set like this is all mother nature man this is this is amazing but it's perfectly groomed and <laughs> it's just so beautiful the landscaping is incredible mother nature you're awesome but yeah guys this is what i get to deal with all the time if i wanted to it's amazing this is my favorite part of the mountain range guys this is the most beautiful off-roading adventures you can do i think almost anywhere because it's just so gorgeous but i'm never back here as much as i used to be because of my work i don't get any cell phone service so i can't be out here lagging so therefore i haven't been out here much and i really need to start coming back out i have someone else who helps me out nowadays so um, I'll just let them know when I want to come out here and I'll make it more often. We'll do a lot more of these roads guys, but I'm just loving how beautiful it is. When I first moved up here, this part we're going through right now, there was a fire the year before in like 2014 and I moved up here in 2015 and this whole part was just completely charred. And it's just a beautiful flat area up here. Just a big flat. It's really nice. I'm gonna hold the camera out the window because we're not getting as much glare like that. This whole place just so beautiful and so perfect everything about it yeah you're good you're, 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 you're good thank you. thanks brother he didn't look like he was up to to any good he like got like shocked when i said hello so Maybe if I turn on my siren, it'll freak him out. <laughs> uh, but I don't do impersonating police officers. I do have all my sirens, as you guys know. But I don't like doing that when we're on the main roads. Because that would be impersonating a police officer. And it, I'm sure it still is out here, even though these aren't patrolled by, like, CHP or anything like that. These are just, you know, local roads, not patrolled. Um, so I wonder what it's, what it's actually what the law would would state the only time i would use those is out here anyway like you know what i'll let you hear all the different sounds that i have all right hang on guys we're just gonna go slow look at this huge like valley area it's just crazy up here all right hang tight guys we're gonna start with this one here that was one of them let's go to the second one Let's go to the next one. I have two more sirens. I just want to make sure we're not coming up to like a corner where there's going to be someone sitting there. Because as I said, I don't want to have anything to do with any impersonation of anybody. But out here, there's no one here. We're just having fun. So here's another one. <laughs> what a bust, huh? <laughs> and then I got another one. We'll listen to that one right now. Hang on a second. And then we'll listen to my loudspeaker. Hang on. Now that I annoyed everybody and all the animals. What do you guys think? That's pretty cool, huh? And obviously my train horn, but that's like the most annoying thing of them all. So I don't want to do that one right now. People are enjoying themselves. I probably just annoyed the heck out of them with all my sirens, but c'est la vie. Such is life, yeah. Okay. Look at that. 
Look at that view. This should be the lake right down here. Yeah, that's towards the lake. I don't think you can see any of the lake right there, but look at that view. Holy moly, that's so beautiful. Yeah, set the phone down so I can take a swig of my drink real quick. And for those of you who are fairly new to this channel, I'm coming up on eight years sober from alcohol. Alcohol was my biggest issue in life. So now I just drink a bunch of these guys and Mountain Dews and stuff. For eight straight years. All right, guys, hang tight. I got to shut it off for a second. I got to take a sip. All right, guys, and then don't forget that we have a bunch of these little attachment roads up here. Attachment trails, they're everywhere. I mean, everywhere, guys. Like, you could probably spend a couple summers up here and never walk the same, same trail twice if you intended that. I'm not kidding. They, some of them might be fairly redundant because they, they might be near each other, but I guarantee you they all have different views. And right here is one of the most beautiful views in all of Big Bear right here. Coming from the other direction though. So we're gonna have to, oh man, that's just unbelievably lovely. You guys, I love you guys so much, man. swallowed down the wrong pipe again <coughs> some of you are saying no you smoked out of the wrong pipe <coughs> no 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 <coughs> never while i'm driving <coughs> but i've been doing that recently where i swallowed down the wrong pipe for some reason and i'm wondering why that is oh here comes a a biker <coughs> it does not look like fun for someone out of shape like me <laughs> yeah, I, I maybe like swallow down the wrong pipe once a year or something, and it's been like monthly recently. I don't know what's going on, but it's as if like there's a signal not being sent in a proper time frame, you know, from my brain to wherever it's going. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I don't have a brain, so that's the problem. <laughs> Guys, look at how pretty this place is. Oh, I wish you were all here with me. I really do, I really do, I really do. Outside because this glare is just too much right now. My bad guys, I had to take off my seatbelt for a minute. I dropped, I dropped my wallet. All right. Yeah, I know it's glary as hell in here, but I'm gonna try to hold it as close to the windshield as I can. When it was cloudy earlier, when we had some snow, I was able to, uh... yeah, I was able to, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. San Gorgonio. Just a magnificent, beautiful place.
prescribed burn in progress. Oh, they're prescribing cannabis over here and everyone's burning. It's, it's, it's prescribed, guys, so it's totally fine. We're gonna go do a prescribed burn with these guys. That's gonna be great. I'm so excited. I wonder if I have any papers. Let me check. Let me check. Nope, no papers. Because I don't do that when I'm on the clock. Whatever that means. Okay, a little scary, a little scary right here. They have a lot of little cliffs like this on this road, but it's it, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I mean, look at these runoffs and everything. Oh, it's just beautiful. Rocks everywhere, so you guys can go climb up on top of rocks. I mean, everywhere. Just gorgeous. What a beautiful place. Oh, look at that rock formation right there. Guys, I mean, come on. That's, dude, so awesome. So much rock climbing potential up here, I bet, for all you rock climbers. Here's a view out towards the lake. That's out towards the lake. Wow. We gotta kind of speed up a little bit because yeah, I still have zero phone service and I need to be making sure that I have capability to respond to phone calls because I have a lot of people who rely on me. I'd like to just take care of people, help them out. That's my gig, dude. It's my gig, dude. Woo, slow down, there we go. Hello. Yeah, it's 43 degrees right now. As I said earlier at about noon or 1230, it was like in the mid thirties and I caught a snowflake or two. So at least I got that. Um, I, I hope you guys can see it on the other video. Oh, look at this. Can you say beautiful thumbnail? Jeez, please. Holy, it's cold guys. Okay, yeah. let's see if, uh... I think I passed them earlier when I did the drive earlier. Oh, right there. Look at how stormy it's getting out there. That's past us though, unfortunately. That's quite unfortunate, guys. That's past us right there. Oh my gosh, once again, this view. Come on, guys, are you serious with this? We got some good stormage out there guys as i said unfortunately it's beyond us but we're gonna get some good views of near the lake right here we might even be able to see the lake yeah there's the lake yeah boy Just incredible. I can't believe how many beautiful pictures we're getting up here. And 
and then look at look at the landscape here guys just how unbelievable is this look at this jeez absolutely stunning Won't be any cars coming. Oh, bicyclists. Bicyclists. Cyclists. Smug ass people. Seriously. If I drove my car in like a only bike lane or something, like I'd be so respectful of them for sure. I don't know, man. I that's just that whole biker thing, it just really irritates me. Not the aspect of biking, but, you know, like, it's like in your break, man. I'm sorry to all my biker friends out there. I'm a biker. I just ride the motorized ones because I'm a wuss. I don't have the endurance or strength that a lot of you do to be charging on these bikes, man. Charging, man. Charging, man. Guys, this is incredibly beautiful, isn't it? Take another sheer, no sheer, no sheer. Hang on, guys. We're gonna take another sheer. All right. Took another sheer, and we're good. So we're about halfway through. Okay, here's another road. So plantation to the left, skyline to the left, two and ten to the right. So we're gonna stay to the right, but I'll show you what the left looks like. Holy shizna! There's no way we're going down that road. Not gonna go down that road. You don't wanna go down that road. Nope, sometimes that is better. I don't wanna go down that road. Ah, na, 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 na. Look at all these little tiny, tiny little roads. Little bike paths and stuff, hiking paths. Now we're in like some ominous little forest and we don't need to worry about glare until now. There we go. That was like a scary little forest for five seconds. Now we're back out in, in, in Wonderland. Oh, jeez. And funny enough, that branch just hit the car. I hit that same branch last time, about two hours ago.
and then you ran across the poop. What did you do? You ran across the poop. I mean, seriously, guys, is it just not absolutely stunning, this place? Every direction you look, there's something just eye candy, I'm telling you. It's funny, I haven't used that word or that term eye candy in a long time. I usually use it when I'm talking about my ladies. What's up? Talking about my ladies. You guys, there's freaking little, there's rocks everywhere. Just so many spots to just go post your butts up. It'd be kind of cool if I had like, like, like one of those Google cameras on the roof of my car. So it'll do like 360 degree stuff. And then I can make videos like that, doing drives like this. Cause then you guys can look in any direction and feel like you're there. Like how cool would that be? I gotta figure out how to do that. Do I have to record it in four different directions and then figure out a way, I don't know. I don't know, maybe one of you can help me with that. Guys, this place is crazy beautiful. I just don't know what to say. And I'm doing the best I can holding the phone, trying not to shake it that much. I know it's tough. My arm has become a decent gimbal over time, believe it or not. Every iPhone holder I've purchased or that you guys have been generously uh, just, just gifting me, none of them work. None of them work. It doesn't matter how expensive it is. Um, none of them have like some like extra special gimbal technology to where it doesn't shake or the camera doesn't appear to shake because every time I have it on an iPhone holder in the car the camera's shaking um, and it's like not even bearable so that's unfortunate I've spent a lot of money and you guys have sent me a, a couple different ones and yeah none of them work out none of them so that's why I keep on holding it the only one that works is this holder and that holds my one of, one of my GoPros and the GoPro, yeah, it, it comes out perfect. But the GoPro, I don't like the picture as much as I do the iPhone. And it also takes forever to process and upload the GoPro video. It's, it's kind of a bummer. Yeah, guys, look at this place. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is so much room to do so many, like in Step Brothers, we can do so many activities. Look at how much more room there is up here. We could do so many activities. That movie would have been so fun to make. Because I still feel like that a lot as a kid like that. Obviously, we don't act that way, but I still feel like that sometimes. Or I just want to do activities. I don't have to worry about anything. Even if it's painting, I'd like to do it all. Because... I'm a horrible painter, but I'd like to learn how to, like, man, if I could paint or just learn some of the, the real basics, I know it takes a lot, of, mostly talent, but if I could learn some of the fundamentals and paint something nice, that would be amazing. And then look at there, there's some snow at the top of that mountain on the other side. That's crazy. That's, uh, oh, what is that called? What is that called? Oh, uh, I can't remember. Something peak. Uh... I know that's not too helpful. Um, it's, it's like the most popular peak, like just, just outside of, of Big Bear Lake. And uh, you like can hike up to it through Boulder or through Fonskin, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Guys, it's so beautiful and it smells good in here. These flowers are like uh, these, these yellow ones that I see, they always smell really good. And driving up and down the mountain range this time of year oh my gosh give it another week or two and those things will be so stinky it's the nicest smell you'll ever smell ever like i've driven down just to like just go park there and just sit for 10 minutes and just 
inhale it in and then I'll, I'll, I'll take a bunch with me. Okay, so if we make a left, that's 2N11. So that goes to Lodgepole or something. Lodgepole Pine. Then we're staying on 2N10 right here. And this is gonna end up dropping us off. We drive through a neighborhood. Like, okay, so at the end of this, there's like a house or two that's actually inside the gate, which is kind of crazy. Because how, like, I don't know how they would get to their house in the winter time when you can't drive through the gate because it's close to the public. It's, well, maybe if you're a, a homeowner, you can actually open it yourself. Maybe. That's probably a possibility, but I thought it's government land. Um, but there's a couple houses right there inside this this wilderness area it's really cool but then right where the gate is right when you pass the gate to exit this area there's a few really adorable homes right there that are still very secluded as if you're in this whole area still i hope i'm making some sense oh man so pretty pretty overload pretty freaking overload man Overload, pretty. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Oh, 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 watch out, birdie. Watch out, birdie. There's a birdie in the street. There's a birdie in the... Yeah, he's still in the street. Okay. Okay. I think we're three quarters of the way through, folks. Oh, my geez. It's another road right there. Oh, that's a big road. I've been down that road before um, to this place right here that has a lake. It's a private property. This guy who uh, moved off the mountain, he lived near me and he used to work for the gentleman that owned the property. So uh, like uh, he had a regular job, but he would do this to help him out because the, the owner lives down the mountain. So like he was basically like the caretaker, you could say. And no, he didn't write any novels and have his wife and kid in the place and kill them or nothing like that. He's a good dude. Well, no, he's actually not. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Quite a shady guy, actually. But, anyway. Look how beautiful, guys. Feels like I'm I'm in the south somewhere like I'm driving through like Georgia because this is looks exactly like where my dad used to live in Georgia he lived in a town called Milledgeville which is near Macon about 30 minutes from Macon I'm not making that up I think they're doing some burns over there, to the left where I just pointed at. And let me take one more see up. Hang on. Hi guys. Sweetness. That was the first car or second car we passed, right? Maybe yeah, first or second. I can't remember. Either way, it's great odds.
40 degrees outside. I had my hand out that whole time going pretty fast. Believe it or not, guys, that is that was pretty cold. I can't feel my hand anymore, but that's okay. At least I didn't drop the phone. It's a big reason why I brought it in because I couldn't feel my hand anymore. So I thought, you know what? If the phone flies out of my hand, I won't know. So we're about to enter the beginning of a paved road, but it's the crappy type pavement. Like it just hasn't been really worked on much. And then we'll get to the main paved road, but I think we're coming up close to the beginning of the pavement. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's just too pretty to not like get the best view that I can for you guys, you know? And if that's putting my hand out the window, it's putting my hand out the window. Oh, well, man. It's worth it, man. It's so pretty. Keep on dropping this song. This song, boo. What's up, you song, boo? All right, cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. We are back here on 2 and 10. My favorite off-roading road in all of the Big Bear area. And since they did work on the road, like I guess right before they reopened it, right just recently, thank goodness. Because I think, honestly guys, if you literally drive slow, and where the worst parts were just now, if you literally just drive slow, you'll be totally fine, even in just a regular two-wheel drive car. You have to experience this for yourself. I'm telling you, but if you turn off on one of the, because you saw all those different turns I had to make to stay on the same road, so just be careful guys, because if you turn off on the wrong one, then you can get stuck. Look at how dark it just got in here. We're in like some jungle now. We go through so many different, and it, it, it's like you go through all the different climates visually on this freaking drive. Look at how big that tree is. Holy, wow, wow. I was trying to sound like what's his name from uh, South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. When he tries to make a, oh, it's so pretty in here, guys. Oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. It like feels like I'm I'm at like part of Disneyland or something. Two N seventeen. Here's uh, here's here's a here's a map. Let's see if I can zoom in on it for you guys. Yeah, there's all these roads everywhere. Guarantee you, there's a few roads off of that road. There's a rod off of that rod, and then another rod off of that rod.
trees. Look at that. Wow. Gorgissimo. That is a word I made up in my own language. My language is called Americanese Spanglish. Americanese Italian Spanglish. Or we could just call it all. Okay, so we're still behind the privacy gates here and look you'll see we're coming up to like a property on the right hand side here hang on a second this guy is so lucky oh we're on the paved road now but yeah we haven't gone through the gate have we guys not not yet so look right right here look at this there's a freaking house up here look at, look at that house number 70 Mill Creek so he's inside the National Forest part dude like but he's obviously has an address and here's another one look at this private driveway and it goes up here and it, oh right up there there's like oh wow oh that's awesome look at that place beautiful absolutely gorgeous now look at this place these are all behind the fence or the, or the gate that they close off. Now people are probably getting hacked up in every one of those houses every night and stuffed into little bags and, and like, I don't know, being eaten by lime. Yeah, never mind. If, I, I mean, if it was my house, it would be safe, guys, but you don't want to find yourself lost back here <laughs> inside one of those houses, I'm sure. I'm sure they're super expensive houses because of the location, but seriously, we're on the, we're still on national, uh, or yeah, on government property here, so. Look, here comes the gate. Look, I knew it. We're still on that side. They lock this gate. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's another property. These are right inside the gate. Oh, you could probably access those ones outside the gate. But yeah, here it is. This is closed every winter time. You cannot get up there. Well, that was that drive guys i'm going to take us to big bear boulevard just so you guys can get kind of a sense of where we're at right now basically what we did was just drive behind snow summit and big bear village basically and came out the other side of big bear village so we're not in uh national forest land anymore but you got these beautiful homes that are still secluded back here you guys that i mean if you like seclusion I'm telling you this would be a great street this would be a great street then you have all, the, all those beautiful walks and hiking trails you can go on right behind your house we just drove on a bunch of them guys remember it's such a cheery place man i love it i wish i wasn't so like bipolar and i i, I think i might be because i get really like manic which I've always just assumed means like uplifted, not uplifted, just up and lifted and like everything's good. And then in no time at all, I'll be in a state of just total opposite. It's like, I'll have these beautiful highs, but then like I get back down sad again. And I figured that's just natural human emotion go up, up and down, up and down. But I guess it's really not like, uh, like, like we should be able to like kind of level out from what I've, I've known, so we'll see, we'll see. I mean, I haven't really had any any issues with psychology or psychologically in my life. Um, I used to try to use it as an excuse as a kid when I'd get in trouble at school for like weed or something. Yeah, like obviously I'll use anything to take any blame away from myself or any responsibility away from myself. That's what a dumb kid does. But yeah, so this is the only part of the road that still kind of sucked, but you can avoid everything basically. Just go all around this stuff right here. It's not as bad as it looks. They actually did a good job right here too. I mean, it used to be parts where like you have to go like all the way up here to the side of the hill and then come back down and then go back across. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at how green that park is. Wow. Look at that. I think we had our Bear Mountain employee party there at the end of the season when I worked there. All right, guys. So let's see what this... I think the street's called... Um, uh, Mill Creek Road, okay, and it turns into 2N10. And then there's Oak Knoll Lodge directly across the street from the road you need to turn on to get onto 2N10, okay, guys? So you'll see where we are in just a moment. We'll be on Big Bear Boulevard in about two minutes. And I'll just explain it to you guys before you, we get there. Um, well, here's a big picnic area. Sorry, guys, I didn't mean to miss it. A huge picnic area right here too so much of this guys is hidden back here it's like you just wouldn't know that it's here unless you took that little turn that seems like it goes nowhere that's the road we're on there's a lot of them like that so you'll see which one i'm talking about but yeah we're uh when we come out onto big bear boulevard we're going to be basically right on um or right near what's what's it called magic mountain which is like one of our snow play bobsledding and stuff like that that's one of the places that people go do that um so we're really close to that. We're really close to the village. You'll see here, we're, we're coming out on Big Bear Boulevard right now, past this truck. Look, here's the signs right here also. Oh, that's interesting. This must be a really deep road, big road, because why would it show all the signs of how far to Lake Arrowhead and how far to this and how far to that? But anyway, guys, this is where we're at. So thank you for cruising. I really hope this time it recorded. That'll be good. Um, but I had fun doing it a second time. So here, we'll just pull up to the village real quick just so you guys get a sense of, of how, how close that was. You guys saw, remember we got on that road next to Bear Mountain. You just stay to the right when you're on Club View Drive. You stay to the right instead of turn left to go to Bear Mountain. Just stay to the right and go all the way up. And since the gate's open, just follow the road all the way through the gate, and you'll be good. You'll be good. Look, guys, here's the village right here. Pretty cool. Anyway, I love you guys a lot. Thank you guys for enjoying this, I hope. And I will talk to you later. Peace.